So Elizabeth Warren has been uh, kind of stepping in it quite a bit recently at the same time, ironically, that she's surging in the polls. So yesterday, the big thing was she was doing a rally and somebody asked her about Medicare for all from the perspective of they don't think Medicare for all is a good thing. And her reaction was, oh, it's just a framework. It's just a framework. So we'll work out the details, but it's just a framework. It's not, you know, it's not like we're just all going to do single pay or anything. Don't be crazy. Well, you just gave it away. So you're not for Medicare for all. You think it's a framework. It's not a framework. It's a very, very detailed bill with specifics in it. But you're, it's, just, oh, it's just a framework. That's a way of her signaling to those who are against Medicare for all, which, by the way, is a shrinking number. But I oh, am. Yeah, come on. You really think I'm going to go to the mat, go to the mat for this and get single payer? I ain't going to do it. So relax. Now, uh, the left called on to this on Twitter. Thank goodness. Started going after her. And she is time and time again showing. I'm not up to snuff. I'm just not. She's not Bernie. Don't get it twisted. She's not really close to Bernie. Um, that's not to say she's as bad as Amy Klobuchar or uh, or Hillary Clinton. She's not. She has some bright spots. But you got to be honest about her downsides, man. Now, that was the recent failure on domestic economic stuff, on healthcare. But the day before that, she really, really, really proved the criticism of her that she's weak on foreign policy. Look at this. She spoke to uh, the Council on Foreign Relations. And here's what she said. She implied that Iran broke the deal that she voted unilaterally to violate the terms of. So she's blaming Iran for the Iran deal failing, which is not true. It's the U.S.'s fault. We pulled out of it. Um... There's no mention of South Korea. So South Korea wants peace with North Korea, and she's not signaling that that's something that's on the top of her agenda. She will not condition aid to Israel. You know who will? Bernie Sanders has said it repeatedly he will condition aid to Israel. So in other words, they can keep doing whatever the hell they're doing, and there will be no pushback from Elizabeth Warren, which is the status quo Democratic establishment position. Pathetic. She will not ease sanctions on Venezuela, illegal sanctions that we're doing, by the way, which are massively, massively, massively hurting the people. That's not to say Maduro's good, but that is to say she's not going to take responsibility for what we do that's messed up and try to help actual people by doing the right thing in terms of easing sanctions. And then uh, she's continuing to do paternalism regarding Africa. So... This is just, and Michael Brooks and I just spoke about this the other day. She's just a standard corporate Democrat when it comes to foreign policy. She doesn't even, we had the discussion a while ago, the idea of socialist internationalism versus left isolationism. Now, I don't like the term isolation because I think it has a pejorative connotation to it. And I don't think isolation, it, it, it almost, people think it goes beyond war. And it's like, well, trade isolation, separate yourself from the rest of the world. And people think it has like pacifist tones to it where if we get attacked, we don't respond. So I don't like the term isolation, but like left non-interventionism. So socialist internationalism versus uh, left non-interventionism. Elizabeth Warren doesn't even hit that. She's just a standard Democrat on foreign policy. So not only is it a giant blind spot, that's the area where the president has the most control. The most power. And she's just totally out to lunch on that? Come on, man. Come on, dude. And this, I'm actually a little upset that this story came out just after I had done the segment already of why Bernie over Warren. And just watch that video if you haven't yet, guys. It's an incredibly important video. Where I, it's, I think it's called, like, Very Clear and Simple Reasons why to vote for Bernie over uh, Warren, something along those lines. Take a look at that video. It's really important. I give all these detailed reasons, but now we have new ones that just came out the two days after I did that video. So I wish this came out a little before and I would have added a lot of this stuff in there. But this is, uh, you know, this is not okay. And this is why you have to understand that conflating the two, acting like they're close, that's misleading. And, you know, what I would say to everybody is, all hands on deck, man. This is our shot. 
He's a he's a once in a generation type candidate, and he's got a real shot, man. So all hands on deck, and I hope everybody stops playing around and recognizes this.